Welcome back everyone. You may be in a position where you have to use a VPN on your iOS device and I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to do that. Now there are two different ways to go about doing it as I mentioned before like in a video I made like seven months ago and one method requires a download and the other method requires some configuration. I will tell you the download method may be a little bit easier for some people but the first way to do it is to go ahead and open up your settings app just like this. I'm on iOS 14. If some settings look a little different and that you're in the future you still want to just basically type in that and use the same things that I'm doing. So you want to scroll down until you see this VPN toggle right here. Now if you do not see that toggle right there, that's totally okay. You can also swipe up, click the search bar, and just type in VPN just like so. So you want to type in VPN like this, and you'll see the VPN toggle, the very first option right there. All you need to do is go ahead and tap on that specific option, so just like this, and you'll come into this little panel. Now you probably will not see these things, but you will see probably status up here, and you'll see add VPN configuration right here. So all you have to do at this point is click on add VPN configuration, and this is exactly where you're going to go ahead and type out all of your VPN configurations that you would normally use. Now this method, like I said, does require a little bit of configuration. If you just Google like VPN configurations to use, you can go ahead and find this data right here that you can just type in. So that's very, very easy. Literally, if you just do it, VPN connections to use on iPhone, you'll basically see a list of things that you can use. You want to verify those things are safe and good. And then you just want to type in those specific data points right here, and you'll pretty much be set. You will then be connected to a VPN. All you have to do once it's done, you want to click, and then you want to turn the status on right there, and you will basically have the VPN configured, and you can use it however you want to. So that's the first way to go ahead and set up a VPN connection on your iPhone via you know actual manual settings. The second way though is normally my favorite way of doing it and it's the easiest way. It's literally just downloading some sort of VPN app and using that specific app instead of having to go and you know configure it all yourself. So there's a lot of apps in the app store. There's NordVPN, whichever VPN this is, there's a ton of them. None of them are sponsoring my video. Some of them may be trash, but you can just literally, this is the normally how I go and download a VPN. I go ahead and go to the app store just like so. I click the search bar right here. I click the search tab right here, and then all I do is just type in VPN. I can't even spell it properly. So VPN, I click search, and from here I just go ahead and just find whichever VPN is the highest rated, whichever one is the first one, and I most of the time end up using that one. So you can see this best VPN, whichever this one is. I'll go ahead and tap on it, I'll read about it, and I'll pretty much just go ahead and install whichever VPN is good. So in this case, we're using this one because it's the first one. Once you're in it, you'll pretty much come into a space like this. You can go and exit out of the X button, and you'll come into a page that looks like this. All you have to do is find the connection button. If there's a power button, you want to go ahead and click on it. So as you can see, there's a power button right here. In this case, I'll go ahead and click on it, and you will see it'll go ahead and connect me to a VPN. Now, you will see that VPN toggle on the top right that we just saw it. If I swipe out of here and I go ahead and swipe down into the control tab, or more specifically right here, you will be able to see that I have that little VPN little icon right there. That says to me that I am connected to a VPN currently, and basically however I configured the VPN from the you know specific app that I just used, those are the settings that I'm going to be using. Now let's say I'm done using this VPN. Well, what you can do is come back into the app just like this. You can probably swipe back, and there's a bunch of ads all over the place. And you can basically just click the button right here, click OK, and you will be disconnected from the VPN. As you can see, I should be disconnected. And if I swipe down here, you can see the VPN is fully disconnected now. So that's just the other way to do it. There's two main ways, downloading an app and straight through the settings. I typically use an app, but those are basically the two ways to do it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much if you guys can hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, than everything else. I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.